Hey, how's it going? SD Mods here. Today we have something very special. This is the Vitter HDMI XR adapter for iPhone that just came out. Um, this allows you to connect your iPhone uh, to the uh, adapter and allows you uh, to connect your glasses um, without having to use the Viterna wool dock, which you can see here is a lot bigger and clunkier. Uh, not something that you would want to really travel with. Um, now, you could just use this. And you can see the size comparison, uh, much smaller. You know, you'd probably want to uh, fly with this rather than the, the mobile dock. Uh, fits in your purse, fits in your pocket. Uh, really easy and convenient uh, to lug around with you. Um, so let's talk about the adapter itself. You can see here, um, you have the glasses in right there. And uh, that's where your uh, Vitro One glasses would go. Uh, you have a pass-through charge adapter right here, which is USB-C. And then you have the power button right here, uh, which uh, there's different uh, light colors. This white means it is uh, close to fully charged or fully charged. There's also, I think, orange, and then there's red indicating different power levels. So this does have a built-in battery, um, but uh, uh, you can also charge and play uh, with, the, uh, with this little port here. Um, around the back, you can see that um, I have the HDMI connector there, and this can connect to consoles or the uh, lightning adapter that you see here. And uh, this little port here is a USB micro to lightning. You see this little dingle that kind of like detaches, and you can, it just kind of goes into this, sticks into there, right? Pretty ingenious. Pop it in and this is what it looks like all connected. Um, so yeah, this is uh, not just for iPhone. Uh, you can also uh, get this to um, connect to your consoles, your PS5, your Xbox, uh, pretty much anything with um, HDMI on it. And what I like about the Vitter adapter is you can pull out that little dingle there um, out of the uh, adapter and it and it'll sit flush. So let me show you what I'm talking about. This is my Xbox Series X. And here's the HDMI. You can kind of see it there. And if I plug this into the back, it just sits perfectly, just like that. And it sits flush. It doesn't interfere with the power. As you can see here, I can still plug my power my power cable in. Let me actually lift it this way. You can see it right there. See. The power connector is not obstructed, so, um, yeah. So this will work, again, with the uh, PS5, Xbox, you know, 360, PS3, whatever you have. Um, if you don't have a flat surface like this, and the adapter doesn't seem to fit um, on your HDMI device, uh, they provide a dongle, a little HDMI dongle, a little tail that you can attach your HDMI adapter to, just like this. And uh, so you can totally connect it. So, you know, if, if, if you were connecting your glasses to this in this fashion, a lot of you have your um, uh, your Xboxes, your game consoles, your Playstations in an entertainment center. And this would entail you having to flip your console around <laughs> um, and uh, sit close to your console to be able to use your glasses. Uh, which, uh, you know, is, is a little inconvenient, but um, if you really wanted to have like a um, remote experience, you could uh, either get a longer HDMI cable or you can use something like the Picto HDMI 60 hertz MM wave. You can look at my videos and you'll see uh, more information about it. And I'll also do a video where I'm connecting this adapter to the Picto uh, HDMI wireless uh, receiver. And you'll see how compact and easy it is to hook this to 180 degrees into the wireless adapter. So if you have this in front of your um, entertainment system, so that was just uh, to show you that you know how this works when it comes to the HDMI functionality of that. So let me just put this away real quick. Ooh, this is a heavy boy. Oh.
All right, and um, <clears throat> the uh, X reel adapter is very similar, right, to this, and um, that's what this thing is right here. So to plug this into here, and you have this. Plug this back in there, and this is very similar in functionality. For, for iPhone or any lightning devices. This is Xreal's Xreal adapter. This is Vitter's new adapter. And for comparison purposes, check this out. You got one connector for the Xreal there. That is for charging this. This also has an internal battery, but you can't charge and play it. It's only got one port. So when you run out of battery, um, your Movie or TV show is interrupted, and you've got to charge this thing, uh, which is, you know, the downside of the X-Real adapter. With the Vitra adapter, this has your pass-through power, and this will charge while you're using it. And, uh, you know, once you get that white light to signify close to full or full, then you can just disconnect it. And since this has a built-in battery, it'll continue to work just fine. And uh, so yeah, that's what I like about this. Um, I think if uh, Xreal had something similar, um, I think a lot of iPhone users would be really happy with it. And uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and uh, show you how this works. I'm going to go ahead and pull up my iPhone. This is my iPhone 8. And uh, got my XR glasses here. So again, this is the lightning adapter, uh, which you can uh, purchase on Amazon. And this right here is the glasses port. I'm gonna plug my Vitra ones in. And then I'm gonna connect my iPhone to the lightning adapter. And let me go ahead and, I already have a uh, Netflix video paused here. I'm gonna hit play. And you can see, it's a little blurry, you can see the video playing there. So you have audio, video, everything's working good. And uh, really convenient, you know, you, you've got your iPhone, you've got the little adapter, little profile adapter and your Vitra glasses. Uh, you know, you throw that in your um, bag, throw this in your bag, disconnect everything, um, and you're off and running. And uh, yeah, this is uh, way more convenient than hauling around that mobile dock for sure. Um, so uh, another thing I wanted to show you uh, was the XR capabilities um, of this adapter here. So uh, let's do that. Let me close this iPhone app real quick and open up an app called Spacewalker. You'll see in the lower corner there. You can download for that from the iOS store. And uh, you can see here, it connected, recognized my adapter, and it knows that it's there. So this is like um, uh, a uh, beam, like a laser beam when you move it around. So let me see if I can get this to show on screen. It's going to be a little difficult. Yeah, okay, so you see the pointer. And you can see me moving the pointer around. So I'm, I'll probably try to shoot like a different video for this uh, to show you how this works because I have to put the glasses on my face and uh, to be able to, uh, yeah, to be able to see. You can actually um, repin the position by holding down the um the button here so i actually got it to work let me show you real quick there it is so you can see and i can't really move my head because it's a still but what i'll do is i'll hold this this little touchpad down and it'll recenter the screen for me wherever wherever i'm looking right so uh, let me do that uh, this is the main screen that you see here and uh let me just reposition it there you go and um you can see I can move my pointer around, right? So let me put on the glasses. I'm going to move the screen over to 
the app drawer so you guys can see that real quick. Just give me a second. So this is the app drawer here that I was talking about. Um, and uh, I don't know if I can focus this properly. But uh, you'll see um, different applications in here. There's a 360 degree uh, video viewer. Uh, there's also um, uh, a browser that you can use. There's also a uh, document uh, viewer that is also available on this. Um, and I'll, I'm gonna have to shoot another video here on how this all works, but you can kind of see it right there. And there's a, that document viewer can play documents, it can play pictures, it can play movies. Um, most of this is browser based. Uh, in a later video, I'll show you um, the pinning ability that you can do for this. And um, it's a little difficult here since I don't have it mounted, but um, I'll do that at a later time uh, once I figure out how to get this properly uh, in view. Um, but yeah, so this is just a preview. Again, um, when I get the chance on another video, I'll go ahead and run through um, a demo that shows uh, how this works. I don't know if I can actually get this on an external display, but I'm going to see if I can get that video split so to show you guys exactly how it works. Um, yeah, so that's it uh, for my review for today. Um, if you enjoyed it, leave a like. You can also subscribe, hit that notification bell to get notified when I drop another video. Thanks and have a good day.